Hello everybody, I'm Chain Vinayak Goswami and in this chapter we will learn how to profile the shaders using Xcode. In other words, we will be GPU profiling the shaders. To profile the shaders, I have created a scene in which there is a camera onto which there is a skybox applied. And in the scene, there are four different meshes. Leftmost mesh has the standard shader applied on it, which comes with Unity. And on the second mesh, we have our shadow shader applied in which we are calculating the lighting information and we are casting the shadows. The third object has IBL Fresnel shader applied on it in which we are calculating the lighting information as well as we are setting the IBL mode to reflection. So it's calculating the reflections from the cube map. And the fourth mesh has the same shader applied on it but we have the lighting turned off on this shader. It's calculating the reflections based on the cube map. So these are the four different instances of the shaders we will be profiling and we will be using Xcode to read the GPU data. So first, what we will have to do is we will have to export an Xcode project from Unity and that Xcode project will be built and deployed on your device. In order to deploy the Xcode build onto an iOS device, you have to have an Apple developer's account set up. And after that, you install the certificate on your computer and provisioning profile on your device that allows you to deploy your build onto the device. So first, we will start exporting our Xcode project. To export the Xcode project, we will first go to File, Build Setting, and then we will add the scene which we have opened which will be our default scene when the app will be launched or the project will be launched on device. Before we start building the project we want to point out one thing when you click on player settings under other settings section you see automatic graphics API. You can uncheck this checkbox to select the graphics API you want to choose. You can also prioritize the graphics API you want and you can also add an additional graphics API for example OpenGL ES3. But for this test we will keep the automatic graphics API and we will be profiling our shaders in metal. Once we do that we will start build and running the Xcode project. So you press build and run button and then it would ask you where you want to export the project and after providing the path you press save and it would start exporting the project. Once Unity export the Xcode project, it will open Xcode and from here you can press play button to build the project. But before we do that, we will go to product and then we will go to scheme and then we will press edit scheme. By default, under options and GPU frame capture, this option is set to automatically enabled. We will set it to metal because the information that we want to read is available when we capture the GPU from metal API. So we have taken care of one of the steps and another step that I have to do in order to deploy my build onto the device is under build settings, under build options, there is an option for enable bitcode. I have to set it to no in order to deploy the build onto the device. So now this is all set and we will press the play button and it will build the build and it will install it on the device. At this point I have the build running onto my device and what we will do is we will go to debug navigator and we can see that how much memory our app is taking, what's the energy impact, what is the disk usage, what is the network usage and what we want to look at is the GPU report. So our application is running at 30 frames per second and it's taking 25 to 26 milliseconds per frame. 
So this is the information that is provided by the GPU at this level. But we want more information. We want to go to the deeper level of the information. And to do that, we will press this camera button which says capture GPU frame. Once you do that, it will show you that how many shaders are loaded in the app and what is the time in milliseconds taken by every shader. So we have our shadow shader and then the standard shader and the Fresnel shader with two different options. One is calculating the lighting, another is calculating the reflection.